Hi there beer fans, welcome to Andy's Beer Reviews. Uh, still in Eastbourne, still on the south coast, I thought whilst down here, why not treat myself to yeah, the Pearl of Muckner? I've got no idea. Uh, I've just not really been anywhere where I can get a, some uh, lo more local beers. So uh, the local um, grocery store had some missing, so I thought I've not reviewed this before, I might as well go. So it's a strong Polish lager coming at 7.1%. Um, ABV. Uh, we ignore the fact it's not. I don't know. Is it? Maybe the brewery's on the south of Poland. At least the south coast. But I don't think it's got a coast, does it? Uh, let's get it in the glass. I probably set so many Polish people up to now, so I do apologise. Now Polish beers. I think I may have had one bad one. To be those three years and one bad one. They've always been really, really decent lagers. They know how to brew a good lager. Um, it's poured clear. It is a pale golden colour. Not a lot of carbonation, actually. And a bubbly white head. Let's get the aroma, shall we? Remember, if you hit the like button if you like it, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button if you're already subscribed. Click the little bell for instant notifications. Now it's got that Euro Lager aroma, but just notched up a little bit. It doesn't smell strong. It actually smells quite bready. A little bit of honey in there as well. It smells decent, it smells nice, the head's virtually to spin. Let's drink it before it goes. Uh, cheers a bit. Does not taste anything like 7.1%. That tastes like <coughs> a traditional 4%-ish lager that you've made um, shandy out of. Still a little bit of sweetness in there. Seven point one. That is so quaffable. That is bizarre. It's, it's the mildest. It's one of the mildest tasting beers I think I've ever had. Just like the aroma, there you got a little bit of honey coming through on there. It's bready. It's so like the aroma. Bready. Hint of like honey sweetness in there. We'll see if it tells you what's in it. All in Polish, I think. Oh no, I don't think. I know it is. Um, yeah, I'm getting a little bit of breadness from the malt, a little bit of honey sweetness. I see if there's a word that looked anything like um, glucose syrup, but I'm not recognising anything like that at all in that. Um, there's a little bit of a um, little bit of a floral flavour, a little bit of herbal flavour coming from the hops. Just on the back end, just a really, really gentle bitterness. That, I can't remember how much I paid for this, uh, but that just tastes like a really good quality, well done, strong lager. It's crisp, it's refreshing. I 
honestly thought I was going to have trouble drinking that, but that's actually actually quite good. Uh, Scoreways then. I'm glad I picked this up on the spurt in the moment. Um, I think that's a 9 out of 10 lager, that. That's a 9 out of 10 from Andy's Beer Reviews. Um, really enjoy it. Um, I would recommend if you see one of these, pick it up. Uh, another beer discovered. Excellent stuff. Uh, until next time, everybody, enjoy your beers. Cheers.